Welcome folks, I'm Dave Isaacs and in this lesson we're going to take a look at Bonnie Raitt's rendition of John Prine's classic Angel from Montgomery. Bonnie Raitt recorded the song in 1974 on her Streetlights record and an interesting note on this is that the label not being all that happy with the sales of her previous two records had actually cut her budget on this and insisted that she bring in a producer that was going to give her a slicker sound. And she herself had some doubts about this. Now Bonnie Raitt became known as a great interpreter of songs and this record I think plays a big part in that, not least because of this song Angel from Montgomery. Now the song was written by John Prine, released on his album in 1971 and has been recorded by numerous other people. In fact, there were other covers before Bonnie Raitt recorded hers. I think this is, for many people, if not the definitive version of the song, certainly one of her definitive songs. Of all the versions people have recorded, this is likely the one that people know best. And she said later on, many years later, that she thinks it is possibly the most important song that she had ever recorded in terms of the impact that it made on her fans. On to, to believe in this the track itself is interesting because it is built around Bonnie's guitar and voice, but at the same time, there is a pretty elaborate session band involving two guitars. The guitar parts were played in the studio by Charlie Brown and Jeff Miranoff, session musicians, as well as the rest of the band, piano, drums, bass, a horn section, and string arrangements. There's a lot going on there. The song itself is very straightforward. It's basically four chords. Let's call it three plus one, and we'll get into that in detail. But there are some twists to the arrangement that my hypothesis is were just a result of musical decisions in the process of recording the track, and the session musicians were so sharp that they were able to just readjust to each other as people made different choices. And I think you can hear it in the track as we go through it. The guitar parts are really interesting because there are three very distinct things going on there. First of all, there is Bonnie's blues slash folk style acoustic picking. She actually plays no slide guitar on this entire album. It's her only album where she plays no slide guitar. And it doesn't even play the guitar parts on every song, but on this one, it is definitely built around her finger picked acoustic part. The two electric guitars are giving us two very different styles. On one side, we have a very R&B influenced kind of part with lots of slides and hammer-on pull-off figures, uh, very reminiscent of the kind of thing that you might have heard from Ernie Isley or Curtis Mayfield or Jimi Hendrix. And on the other side, you have a very country flavored electric guitar playing really minimal fills. And when you listen to the overall track, one thing that's really interesting is the dynamic between the three guitars. Bonnie's acoustic holding the whole thing together in the middle and the two electric guitars having a conversation on either side. And when we dig into those electric guitar parts, I'm gonna talk into that in some more detail. We're going to work our way through these guitar parts in depth. I've had a lot of fun working this stuff out. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun learning them. So let's get into it. <laughs> 